back in the garage with the 10 watt X tool D1. Uh, really happy to make this video today. If this video is coming across your feed right now, this is your sign to do preventive maintenance to your machine. Make sure you take care of it because if you take care of it, it's going to take care of you. Today I'm going to show you how I do it and then also how I warm up because you know I, I use my warm up routine to kind of work the grease around. You know, so I don't use grease, the oil that I'm going to use. Don't use the grease that came with the machine. Use the oil that I'm going to show you or similar oils. Um, and I'll make sure to link everything that I use here in the description. Um, the only tools that you're going to need, I'm going to actually blow out the module. And, uh, I got an air compressor here with the hose reel. But uh, I'm going to use my air compressor. But you need some form of compressed air, whether it's a can or it's a compressor, it doesn't matter. Um, let's blow out the module. And uh, I'm going to show you now. All right, here she is. Um... I like to start with the module first because that way when I put it back on there, I'm not going to put my air assist back on there. This guy air assist here. I'll pull that off on the camera here. But uh, you want to make sure we miss, you know, if you got stuff on the workspace, whatever, just the module's high enough in Z that when uh, I'm actually going to run a circle around here. Um, so anyway, build this up here. I'll show you. Get my air nozzle ready in the background here. Here, all right. So I'm gonna keep it on my Z axis extension and I'm just gonna take the extension out. From the Z axis mount, right? Take my air assist off, plug it. See that thing? <laughs> Definitely needs cleaned. You know, doing those two and a half D, like uh, super deep, like three millimeter engravings. These things, which I've got a tutorial on uh, on YouTube, Alan the Maker. Anyways, go to the lens next, and uh, you know, just be gentle. Take this thing off. Use a bunch of care when I'm doing that. And the surprise is looking pretty good. Got a tiny little little hazy spot going. So uh, probably use some alcohol and uh, microfiber here and hit that. I'll probably do that now. Oop. microfiber just gonna put a little bit on the rag on my fingertip like so and it took that right off of there you can see make sure I get all the little fuzzies off of there don't want to have any debris on there it's really important to blow it blow it off with the air compressor is not a bad idea and it looks really good Look at that, it's like there's not even a lens there. So I'm going to set this aside. Somewhere safe. Um, look at that. Yummy. Some of the alcohol that I got going on here. Right. 
Now, I'm going to put this back on there, and I may have to clean it again. I probably should have waited, and that's okay, because when I when I clean the module, I'm going to actually blow air down through this with my air compressor. Um, now, really important when you do this is, one, the, the, the system has to be off. So right now, obviously, my machine's off. The fan's not spinning. Uh, we're going to need something like not really abrasive to put in there to kind of hold the fan in place so when i do blow air in there it's not spinning like crazy now let's put that in there like that whatever i'll hold it with my finger i'll try my best to hold it <laughs> i do it yep like this and then you take your air compressor or your canned air point it away from everything and uh i guess you can't i want you to be able to see so you know, some funk's gonna come out of here, I'm sure. All right, it wasn't that bad. I've done it pretty recently. I have done a ton of projects. Still looking good there. Still looking good there. Probably wipe this air assist off a little bit. The alcohol spot there. Some of that wood resin off there. Not that it makes much of a difference. All right. Put this guy back on there. This guy back on there. All right, pull it snug. I'm gonna put my back on my z-axis. Uh, I'll probably just keep this up a little bit. I right, clear that tile there. You know. Good. All right, now we're ready to do the rails. Let's pick a clean spot on this microfiber. All right, so for my rails, and the whole whole system really. Now I'll wipe down most of the chassis first. Start from the top, you know, top top of the chassis, and work your way down to the bottom because as you're Clean stuff off the top, it's gonna be a knock down onto the bottom. Alright, now for the rails. You know, I'll start I like to start on one side, you know, and there's a top and there's a bottom, so I'm gonna when the swiping motion, you can see it was pretty dirty. Also pretty dirty. Now there's wheels. Like uh, rollers, you know, these rollers. I like to wipe the rollers. Go in both directions. And on top and on the bottom, which is only one roller. There's not two rollers. Now I'll actually move it out of the way and then do the opposing side. Yummy. Now I'll hit the wheel. Now this one actually has a wheel down here. Hit two. Now I'll do the y-axis rails. Similar concept. Start back here. Wait. Look at that. Yummy. Back here and white. Same deal. Now this one has rollers as well. Um, it may be kind of hard to 
to see, but maybe not. You know. Roller. Wanna make sure you clean that roller. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. On both sides. And then I'm gonna move it back. And then I'm gonna finish wiping the rails the rest of the way. Yeah. I do a range of materials. Uh, you know, it's not just wood. You know, I see I do, I do a lot of these business cards. I've done this tile since, you know, which there was a lot of paint on that tile. Um, but pretty normal, you know, you want to do this, you know, if you use it frequently, you want to do it frequently. And I want to say it's been about two weeks since I've done a really thorough one of these. I uh, say almost every day I use it. I'll wipe the, the, the x-axis rails and I'll put a little bit more lubrication on there and then I'll drag it back and forth. But uh, every couple weeks I like to do the deep thorough clean like I'm doing right now. All right, now I'm ready to apply some more lubrication. Now I like to use gun oil. <clears throat> You can also use three in one oil. Uh, you know, I've been playing with the idea of using air tool oil because it's about the same consistency. It's a little bit thinner actually than this gun oil, which I, I think I like better. I'm still kind of torn, you know, because you want you want it to stay adhered and in place, but you don't want it to be so in place that it affects your engravings, <laughs> which is what the grease will do. So uh, I don't recommend using the uh, the old Pang Chang that came with it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend you use some type of oil. Um, and anyways, open this up. It's kind of like really easy. Not coming out. There we go. Way too much. Don't use that much. I'm actually going to spread that out. Bottom and the top. Move that over. Now do this side. Similar deal. Then I put a little bit on my finger. And do the bottom side. And uh, I mean it's completely dry, so I can I can kind of tell, I can feel if I've worked it on that rail or not. Okay, good. All right, now I do the y-axis. Same deal. Roll her back. Love it. I love it. You know, as a guy who works with machines all day, every day, preventive maintenance is one of my favorite things. It's so important. Um, you know, typically I'd wipe the belt off too, but for the sake of the video, I'm not boring you guys to death, I'm going to move on to the next, which is now that I've got. This blown out. Now usually I wipe this guy off a little bit, but it's pretty much almost permachard there from how much I've ran it. It's almost two years old. Um, you know, now I want to work everything in together, and I actually make the machine do that for me. And I'm gonna make it run a routine where it runs a circle around here, <clears throat> and I want to show you. But uh, I'm gonna go to Lightburn and, and show you how I set it up in Lightburn first. So here we go. All right, we're here in Lightburn. Uh, this portion's uh, extremely easy. Uh, all we're going to be doing is drawing a 14-inch circle. Um, I want to note that I don't use absolute coordinates. I'm going to use uh, cut selected graphic. So uh, I'm going to actually draw a circle. It looks like I've already drawn a circle. Click and hold. Now if I hold shift, it'll draw a perfect circle. Um, that was pretty close, and I actually want this to be a 14 inch circle, so you want to make sure that this lock is on. So when I change one of these, it changes both of these. 14 inch circle. Alright. Uh, for the layer. 
how I do it is uh, I like to do 50 millimeters a second. It's like not too fast, but not so slow. I'm going to sit here and watch this thing forever. Um, like, you know, it's warm up speed. Uh, for the power, I like to do 5% because it's not typically strong enough to mark most materials other than like paper materials. And, uh, but it's strong enough to actually engage the diode and get it warmed up as well. Um, and this is probably the most important part is the number of passes. You know, so we're going to do 10 passes at 50 millimeters a second. Uh, you know, so it's going to do 10, 14 inch circles and it's going to really spread that grease out on them rails. And then how I, how I have it set is I do it from the top left. So I'm actually going to move the machine to the top left corner and I'm going to run my circle and I'm going to hit start. So let's go do that. Okay, this is my favorite part. I love doing this. Uh, I, I love to get the, the motors all warmed up before I start to do photo engraves. Um, let's go ahead and turn the machine on. Uh, so again, I use cut selected graphic and I've got it selected to the top left corner. So I'm going to go ahead and push this up to the top left corner. And then I'm actually going to come off about an inch or so off the back and off the side. It's the 14 inch circle and uh, in light burn now I'm going to hit start. And uh, I'm going to let it go. Ready to do a project. Thanks for watching.